Welcome to our 49th devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Faith can only be proven by our actions. Joshua chapter 1, we read three times the Lord charges Joshua to be strong and very courageous. Chapter 6 of Joshua, we understand why the Lord told Joshua three times to be strong and very courageous. Because of the strategy, the Lord was instructing Joshua to conquer the city of Jericho. Joshua 6, 1 to 5 in ASB. Now Jericho was tightly shut because of the sons of Israel. No one went out and no one came in. But the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have handed Jericho over to you and its king and the valiant warriors, and you shall march around the city, all the men of war circling the city once. You shall do so for six days. Also, seven priests shall carry seven trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. Then on the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. It shall be that when they make a loud burst with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up, every one straight ahead. Did Joshua prove his faith? What about our faith? Today's Friday, February 18th, 2022. Monica and I are here at the Fort Pulaski National Monument, Savannah, Georgia. Can we learn from Joshua that when we put our lives in God's hands, we will certainly need to be strong and very courageous because following God's instructions will require us to prove our faith to him, the creator of heaven, earth, and all that inhabit the earth. Psalm 121, verse 1, NLT. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? Proverbs 29, 25, NLT. Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trust in the Lord means safety. Just as Joshua put his life and the lives of his people into God's divine hands, not the universe, nor just any human, where did Jehoshaphat put his faith? Where do you put your faith? 2 Chronicles 20, verse 1, 3 to 6, and 12. Later on the armies of the kings of Moab, Ammon, and of the Meunites declared war on Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah. Jehoshaphat was badly shaken by this news and determined to beg for help from the Lord. So he announced that all the people of Judah should go without food for a time, in penitence and intercession before God. People from all across the nation came to Jerusalem to plead unitedly with him. Jehoshaphat stood among them as they gathered at the new court of the temple and prayed this prayer. O Lord, God of our fathers, the only God in all the heavens, the ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth, you are so powerful, so mighty. Who can stand against you? O oh, our God, won't you stop them? We have no way to protect ourselves against this mighty army. We don't know what to do, but we are looking to you. For a decade, Bobby and I have had to be strong and very courageous because a great multitude has been coming against us. However, just as Joshua and Jehoshaphat, our eyes, hearts, and spirits are looking to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because we know the battle is His. In my 50 plus years walking with, waiting on, and watching my Lord and Savior, Jesus, He has never forsaken me, and I know He will bring the restoration that we are seeking. This concludes our 49th devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Faith can only be proven by our actions. Psalms 27 verses 1, 3, 7, and 8, 13, and 14. Amplified. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the refuge and fortress of my life. Whom shall I dread? Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rises against me, even in this I am confident. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud. Be gracious and compassionate to me and answer me. 
When you said, seek my face in prayer, require my presence as your greatest need, my heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I will seek on the authority of your word. I would have despaired had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for and confidently expect the Lord. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today in St. Mary's, Georgia. A little quaint town, a beautiful little park here on the intercoastal waterway. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit the little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. And please give us a thumbs up and help us spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. 2 Timothy 4.2, the Living Bible, to preach the word of God urgently at all times, whenever you get the chance, in season and out, when it is convenient and when it is not. And the verse goes on to say, encourage them to do right and all the time by be feeding them patiently with God's word. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you in your prayer requests so that we can pray for you.